Israel's offensive has displaced most of Gaza's 2.3 million people from their homes. According to the UN, a quarter of Gaza's population is starving at the moment. And this comes as airdrops by the US and other nations continue, while deliveries on a new sea route have begun. But aid groups say more ground routes and fewer Israeli restrictions on them are needed to meet humanitarian needs in any significant way. A World Central Kitchen staff member posted a video showing the last pallets of aid being unloaded off the first Gaza and Gaza aid supply ship. Meanwhile, the founder too encouraged other countries to use the same route for aid. All right, there it is, the last two pallets of food getting loaded onto the last truck. Behind me, off of the barge, is the open arms boat back there. Um, 200 tons of food um, delivered here in northern Gaza. Um, it's going to go up to Gaza City, not tonight, it's pretty late, but soon. The World Health Organization's regional director, Hanan Balki, visited Gaza's aid warehouses in Egypt's Arish and Rafa border crossing. Balki checked on medical evacuees from Gaza receiving treatment in Arish hospital. She also called for a swift ease to the land borders of Gaza for more aid to get inside. We hope that there will be a swift easing, especially for the land borders because there are land, air and seaports. The most beneficial are for the residents of the occupied lands to have the land ports facilitated and eased. God willing of all these things happen soon and we hope for quick peace for this problem. Two airplanes were also seen from Israel dropping humanitarian aid packages into northern Gaza. An official Jordanian news agency said that their military conducted six airdrops carrying food into Gaza involving Jordan, Egypt, US and Germany. On the other hand, the European Union has announced an $8.06 billion funding package for Egypt as part of a push to stem migrant flows to Europe that had been criticized by rights groups. Egypt's economic adversity has pushed increasing numbers to migrate in recent years. Even then, Egypt's strategic importance has been underscored by the war in Gaza, where Egypt is trying to mediate between Israel and Hamas and increased deliveries of humanitarian aid. We've also agreed with EU leaders on rejecting an Israeli military operation in Rafah, which would double the humanitarian catastrophe that civilians in the Gaza Strip are suffering from, in addition to the effects of that operation on liquidating the Palestinian cause, which Egypt outright rejects.